Hi, my name is Mike Haas and I'm an application support engineer for Agile and Technologies. And uh, in the short video, what I'd like to show you is how our DMMs make resistance measurements. I'd like to do that by moving to the whiteboard and diagramming how that's done. On the whiteboard, I have a simple diagram of the DMM. The first thing I'd like to point out is that the DMM does not make resistance measurements directly, but we calculate those and let me show you how that's done. Inside the DMM we have a current source. This is a constant current source. We actually have many of these depending upon what resistance range you're using. So we output a known current through the high terminal, our unknown resistance, and back through the low terminal. And then we use the internal voltmeter to measure the voltage across the high and the low terminals. And therefore we can calculate the total resistance in this path, the unknown resistor as well as any lead resistance. In most situations this lead resistance is negligible. In this case for a standard probe it's probably 40 to 50 milliohms. Um, and therefore the two wire ohm measurement is sufficient. Let me go through an example so you can see how this works. We want to calculate the unknown resistance, and that will be the measured voltage divided by the DC current. Let's go ahead and assume we're going to put an 8K ohm resistor and measure an 8K ohm resistor. If we have the voltmeter in auto ranging mode, it will automatically range up to the appropriate range, being 10 kilo ohms, and at that point, the constant current will be 100 microamps. When we make our measurement, since our lead resistance is small, it will be approximately 8 tenths of a volt. And therefore, you can calculate that the resistance is approximately 8 k ohms. So again, this video is just designed to give you an overview of how resistance measurements are made. And the main thing you need to remember about a two-wire ohm measurement is that the lead resistance must be negligible compared to the unknown resistance you are measuring.